Welcome back for more unboxing. And as usual, we have Koki from Nasi Lemak Tech here. Hello. And I'm Lau from Tech Twitter. And today we will be unboxing these three stuff from Gaming Freak. Yes, right here we have the SHK87 Gaming Freak. This is the MX RGB9 and then we have also the one-on-one -on -one keyboard all from Gaming Freak. So let's take a look at this first. Okay, SHK87 first. So right here, this is actually quite a rare item. It's a membrane keyboard, but it's in TKL form format. So you don't really see much of those in the market these days. Yeah, so let's just do a quick unboxing right here and see what's up. So, uh, yeah, rip everything apart. That's the easiest way to do unboxing. Very lightweight keyboard, by the way. It's really, really lightweight. So, this is your usual manual. Yeah, usual manual. And as per usual, whoops. Yeah, too bad. This is a membrane keyboard, but it doesn't have any interchangeable keycaps as you cannot pull the keycap out. And well, uh, technically, you can pull it out this way, but it's not <laughs> Cherry MS compatible. Okay, you can pull it out, but don't try that. Yeah, it needs a bit of brute force. Brute force? Not to say brute, but some extra force has oh, to be applied. Yeah, you can pull it out, but yeah, you can't change the keycap, so I'm not too sure why you want to pull it out in the first place. And uh, again, very lightweight keyboard. Um, nothing much to talk actually. Let's just plug it in and see the RGB lighting right here. Uh, you do get a cloth braided cable right here with a protector. So let's just plug it in and turn it up. Let's see what's happening. Oh, RGB. There you go. Yes, RGB. Very soft lighting, I like it. It's not harsh. So if you're like, uh, you love RGB, but all the RGB keyboards out there is too expensive for you, yeah. this is something you can go for. And this is again TKL membrane, but there is one complaint that I want to make right here. Why is there a num lock indicator light when there is no number pad at all? Yeah, pretty okay for typing experience. Uh, I do like the fact that they have the context menu button and replace the right windows key with function. Um, we have a windows key lock here so it doesn't trigger the windows key. Mm -hmm. And there are, you know, the usual multimedia keys for you to trigger anything. If you want to use it. As usual. And you can control the lightings through this area, this region. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few modes here, but yeah, it's still pretty limited because it's a membrane keyboard. You don't have any PCB going on to you know, cater for the lightings and everything. Yeah, one thing good is that you don't have to install any software and you can control the entire keyboard right on the keyboard itself and uh, you do have two small little feet right here to angle it up if you like and the USB cable is non-removable so I think that's pretty much it as you can see here the RGB is very soft and yeah let's move on to another product okay the next one we will be unboxing is the one-on-one -on -one. I've actually reviewed this on Nasir Mark Tech so do check out the video there. Yeah, there is a video for this. I've been playing Overwatch with this thing. Uh, kind of fun, I would say. It's a different experience. And like here, you have the one plus one, the one plus one, one on one. <laughs> Not the smartphone. I'm having issues differentiating both of them. So right here, this is the one on one. Single-handed keyboard, you only have a limited set of keys. Uh, good for FPS games like, again, Overwatch, which is why I played Overwatch on this thing. So, you do have some light. This is only in red, I think. No. Uh, you do have seven colors as stated on the box right here. Red, purple, green, blue, yellow, white, and cyan. So, do try it out. 
feels quite okay for the curve at first because you have this rubber pad for your arm to rest on. You have the what do you call this button? Space bar. Space bar. Okay. <laughs> A rather unique looking space bar for you to jump during the game. But one thing I find pretty unique is that there are quite a few keys that you don't see on the normal keyboard, such as the P and G. Mm -hmm. They have been moved a bit out of place. So yeah, depends on how you map all your keys to your games. Just take advantage of those keys. So according to the brand, you can actually, you know, set some macros on it so it doesn't only helps on the game but sometimes it helps on your work such as some applications yes where you can trigger some functions without having to click on that specific buttons you can set it here yeah the entire software is pretty easy to use you can remap all of the keys to something else or just set macro into each of them but uh, one complaint that i have is that the spacebar is a bit too far off from all the other keys and the wrist rest, it could use a bit more footprint. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Gaming Freak 1 on 1. Pretty good gaming keyboard single-handed ones for games. It's an yeah. alternative for some board. Yeah, if you, sometimes if you want to use a full-size keyboard for your work, but you want to use a dedicated keyboard for oh, gaming keyboard. because you need more space for your mouse. So use this, swap it out with your keyboard and yeah, you do get a lot of space on your keyboard. So let's move on to the last product which is the, the MX RGB9 from Gaming Freak. Box wise looks pretty okay I would say. And do know that this CIY is a feature which they call it change it yourself which we will be Showing that to you later. We we'll rip some keys off and see how it goes. So okay, for the packaging, you have quite some thick foams. You have to protect your keyboard foams. Oh, okay. Thick foam. Accessories-wise, you have push this long user manual. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we have all the functions listed here, so if you can't find anything that you need, just refer to this. It's a user manual. Yeah, especially when it comes to all the keyboard lighting features, refer to the user manual. So and before we move on to the keyboard, you have driver this in case if you need it. And you do have a couple of extra switches. A couple, that means two which is two, and then you have a key switch puller. Yes. Yeah, and let's just put that aside for now. The cable here is again non-detachable. Uh, nicely braided, which is nice. It's quite thick actually. You have a cap right this. here, and this is a very familiar design, so let's just plug it in and have a look at the RGB again. Oh yeah, you have a magnetic wrist rest, which is yes. nice. So yeah, you can just plug it out if you don't want it and plug it in if you need it. So right here, we have quite a bit of uh, RGB modes right here. Press your function key and you have brief, touch, which is actually response. Uh, yeah, and then you have the uh, function and drawing. Drawing? I'm not too sure what is drawing. It's more like a raindrop feature as okay. called from the other keyboards. And uh, here you have wave number one, number two. Mm -hmm. And you can change it to rainbow wave. Yeah, they have quite a few right here. So, and then you have a K effect, which is randomized. Uh, okay. Yeah, randomized. Okay, let's just try to press it again. Uh, okay. And then you have wave two, which is. I see. Ah. Not sure how to describe it. it comes but, yeah. Back and forth. Yeah, it at an angle, 45 degrees, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And something to note is the 6 key and N key. Because 6 key, some of you might find it pointless because when you can have N key 
or NTRO, why do you even need a 6 key? This is because of sometimes when certain operating system cannot recognize the device because of the N key, you have to switch to 6 key. So this keyboard will get recognized on the operating system. For N key, most of the keyboard actually goes for device emulation, which means when you plug it in, and when you look into the device manager, you can actually see more than one. Probably you'll see two or more keyboard display in a list. So that's how they achieve NKRO. So yeah, again, detachable. I really like this. So yeah, because it's my laptop. Yeah, at the back right here, you can see that there's a keycap puller. Right here, we are going to pull out the keycap. I would prefer you not to use this because it will scratch your keycap and this is a plate mounted keyboard so just pull it out with your bare fingers, it's easy. So right here, we'll be trying out the CIY features. Yeah, <laughs> pulling out the keyboard. Key switch. Yes. So to pull out the key switch for, for first time, a lot of people might go for the brute force style which is not the way to go for because you will kill the switch. Mm -hmm. Happens once. 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 So to pull it out, this is a switch puller which is a bit uncomfortable to hold on. But what you need to do is flip the top you and the bottom. the top and the bottom of here. Yeah, there are two notches that you can press it in with the key switch you puller. Pull it a bit. Ah, be gentle, be patient. And there, there you, you go. go, it's out. It's not hard, but for first time, try not to force your way out. Be patient. And yeah, you can pretty much swap it with these two switches if any one of them dies and you yes. can buy more online. If you oh, prefer okay. something smoother, linear switches, you can actually buy uh, these Otomu switches, brown, they have brown, they have reds and other you know variants. You can purchase purchase it from somewhere else and replace it with that instead of the blue ones. So it gives you more flexibility in terms of the switches you want. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about the RGB because they're using SMD soldered LEDs. It's here, it's yeah. on the board. So all you have to do is just change the switch. Not the switch, it's a new one, it's a keypad, and you're done. So putting it back, it's the same, just press it down and there you go. So that wraps up for the unboxing. I hope you guys like it and do let us know. <laughs> so that wraps up our unboxing for today. And do let us know what you think about this peripheral song Gaming Freak down in the comment below. Yeah, again, this is the Gaming Freak 101 single ender keyboard. This is the SHK87, a membrane TKL keyboard, rather unique. And then you have the uh, MK MX RGB9. Yeah, RGB mechanical keyboard, and you can change all the switches to whatever you want. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys again in the next video.